I'm setting the stage uh, because uh, I, I want to share the story that the profession and I4A is responding to the world of change, which every profession and every institution, including university institution, has to respond to. Because what is called for by uh, the digital and the fourth industrial revolution and now the pandemic and all the crises we see uh, takes us away from the traditional work we do. Uh, so Reddington coined this phrase, and he's a great man. He, he coined this phrase that the actuary, who is only an actuary, uh, is not an actuary. Uh, and, and basically what he's saying is that we cannot just be doing uh, what we are doing technically. Uh, we got to look at the context of our work, the context of our work. Uh, you're not, not just solving equation, but you are trying to produce a sustainable answer, a sustainable model. So we cannot just be turning our handle. Yeah? Uh, we, we have to look at whether where the ship is sailing and whether it's in the right direction. Uh, so, so that would be my uh, way I uh, interpret uh, him because uh, the actuaries and the actuaries, they are accountants and they are accountants, right? And, and they have a different flavor. He's saying that if, if you're only an actuary, but really not an actuary, because an actuary requires you to look out to see the context in which you work. And, and he had a very powerful quote, which I'll come back later. He said that uh, the professor, and his quote was the only advice he gave in 1968 when he received his uh, gold medal, a gold medal, which is the highest award uh, to be bestowed on any medal. And, and, and this award was given uh, for his work, lifetime work, and it was only one advice. And he says that, I do not think that a profession has any besetting advices, but I sometimes think that it has besetting virtues. So in other words, we don't have negatives, we have virtues, but the virtues can be besetting, can be hindering us. As a profession, we are apt to be accurate, cautious, consistent, and reticent. And this lies our strength. But if we do not leave enough room for impulse and imagination, they can be a witness. An actuary who is only an actuary is not an actuary. Uh, when you say imagination, we understand what he means. Impulse is about trusting your instinct, trusting your God. Uh, it's not about being impulsive or hasty. Uh, and I have some psychological background, as Matt said earlier on. Uh, and, and he, the choice of his four virtues, consciousness, accuracy, consistency, and reticence, belong to a personality cluster which mathematicians and actuaries uh, congregate. Uh, and, and that is a strength because what we do has to be accurate, has to be consistent, has to be right. But that is not always the right response in an environment which is demanding innovation. Uh, like digital, uh, de demanding new ways of looking things, uh, or, or being future ready, or in an environment where there's no data, or where there's a pandemic, or where there's a crisis, right? Uh, and he's not saying that four values are unimportant. They are saying that you must leave room for other values. And that is something uh, which is worth reflecting on. Yeah, worth reflecting on. So, so that was uh, uh, Reddington. Uh, and next uh, comes to Chris Dakin, who is still alive. Uh, and, and Chris Dakin uh, finds actual science uh, in a way. Uh, and by the way, what Reddington said earlier on is a quote by five or eight actuaries uh, in the last 30, 40 years, presidents, yeah? because I did all the research on presidential addresses. And I said, what we have uh, is the need for diversity of mindsets and an attitude of openness, courage, imagination, uh, and, and importantly, judgment. judgment. But you'll get to that later. Uh, so we, 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 he warned us, Chris Aiken, that we should not wander too far away from mathematics, lest we lose our essence. So in other words, uh, we, uh, we cannot be like, CFA or accountants or, or MBA, although they are very good careers, because we must not lose our essence. 
For essence, it's one of uh, cognitive uh, orientation towards analysis, and that remains our essence. Yeah. Uh, in class, we are probably uh, more mathematical than the accountants and uh, and others. Yeah. Uh, so so. But we are not pure mathematicians. We we integrate it around mathematics and in areas where there's data, uh, where there's modeling, where there's risk, and we optimize it. And, and of course, if you belong to a body, uh, we are committed to communication and ethical standards and wider public. And that is in its uh, essential address of two or three years, uh, about twenty years ago. So so with that as a backdrop. And there has been a decline in influence uh, in terms of thought leadership, but I think there will be a revival uh, in the next few years. Uh, the IFA, uh, in the last two years, uh, the council and many of my colleagues spoke on a strategy called BSMD, and, and it's not about skill sets. The skill sets must include data science, machine learning, and AI, because those are extension of mathematics. And if we agree that a DNA has that, then you, you must strengthen your DNA. But what makes us try the digital world is not skill sets, it is mindset. Uh, and what makes us strive as a profession in uncertainty is also mindset. Uh, with those two combinations, uh, we can work in life, we can work in pension, and as our many South African actors are, uh, they work in banking. Many Australian actuaries are working in data science consulting, uh, health ecosystems, fintech companies in Africa and India. But always taking to a core mathematics in a commercial financial setting with risk or modeling as, uh, as a consequent, applying to adjacencies uh, or traditional domains. Uh, yeah. And then, then we come to the vision ability. On, uh, with this combination, uh, uh, the vision is for us to be relevant, um, effective and impactful and influential. And that will always mean continuous modernization of our skill sets. And, and, and that on its own is, it has to include my sense. Uh, I, I won't spend too much time. This is one of my older lectures uh, because uh, when I, I became an in 1984. Uh, I was given a safe and secure box. This in safe and secure box is a combination of skill sets and knowledge on the x axis and the domains uh, we can work in. Uh, so, what are skill sets? My skill sets are mathematics, combined uh, risks, and investments. And the only unique skill set I have, which accountants and MBAs don't have, is compound interest and life contingency. Uh, but even today, it can be easily replaced. Yeah, the domains we work at ninety-five percent of actuaries work in the safe and secure box. Yeah, so you work in life insurance, pension, GI, investment. But that safe and secure box, because when I landed on this, I was the amongst the first Malaysians to be an actuary. I became very senior very early on. I was given an iron rice bowl. Yeah, uh, but today, no one, no one even a safe and secure box which will last for the next 30 years and maybe 60 years because you are going to have a long life yeah and the rate of change uh, is going to be incredibly uh, uh, great uh, so what you need uh, is what i call a springboard for the future and there's another talk which means that it is about mindsets about learning and about navigating across paradigms as things change uh, but to keep to our story, uh, I, I say that uh, data analytics, uh, neural networks, and AI are really extension of mathematics. Yeah, uh, with the advent of computers and new ways uh, and, and big data, and and we, because if we do not modernize our x-axis, the tasks we do will be replaced over time. Our jobs will be replaced. That applies to all professions. Yeah? So I say that. We need to acquire those skills, and if we could acquire those skills, we can go in the new domains. Yeah, uh, whether it is uh, Uber or in Malaysia, it's called a Grab uh, because there are many actuaries working in Grab health ecosystems, which we see many actuaries working in. Blockchain scientists, banking, logic card companies, because they are all rich in data. 
but it is not just about uh, skill sets. It is about our attitude toward technology, how we work uh, in networks and social networks. Uh, it is about being multidisciplinary. I, I actually believe now that uh, you don't. Uh, I'm not asking you to choose between master, uh, jack of all trades or master of none. Actually, you got to be a master of uh, a few trades, not all trades. Yeah. Uh, and and you've got to be a good specialist in different domains and to be able to join the dots. And it is our, our human brain is remarkable. We are able to learn more than just one domain. Yeah, you know, curiosity, adaptability, and a growth mindset are cardinal requirements, not just for actuaries, uh, for the people who want to try it in a digital world. So that goes to another part of a presentation which I gave in 2017, uh, but I would not go there. Uh, so, so let's talk about this. Uh, we have to be multidisciplinary because of digital, but also if you want to make uh, a difference in our social impact. But my point is not really about skill sets, it's more about mindsets. Yeah? Uh, so the Institute is uh, going to go into data science. I won't talk too much about it, but it's a big deal to us. It took a while for us to get there. Partly because uh, we were, like most professions, uh, we, we, we clung to the past and we were slow to change. Uh, uh, but we have crossed that, um, crossed that chasm. Uh, so we are uh, busy uh, implementing uh, and instilling, uh, incorporating data science into our basic syllabus. Yeah? Uh, and I, I wouldn't want to make too much of a play. You had asked me questions. The difference between data science and actual science. And the difference is about industry knowledge and appreciation of risk, uh, and we can go deeper into that. But in terms of training, what you see in 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 your syllabus uh, as a degree, uh, it will be enhanced over the next few years. Uh, uh, we we are going to have a fellowship in banking uh, in 2012. They're going to have a certificate in climate science next year or next year yeah uh, I, I spoke about these values yeah uh, and these values remain very natural to many of us uh, and and it should be a, still be a very important and core part in many of our reserve roles uh, like pricing like valuation uh, like solvency testing but increasingly, especially with VUCA, VUCA is volatility, uncertainty, uh, complexity, and ambiguity. You, you need these values and in the world of digital, right? And we could speak a lot about all these values, yeah? Uh, courage, and imagination, and judgment are powerful values. Uh, 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 we need more courage uh, uh, to interpret without all the data, without all the answers we have. Uh, we need imagination to see all the sources of uncertainty. And we need judgment as to what to know which rules to break and which rules not to break. And we have to be curious, right? Got to be curious, cannot be sticking to just what we are told to do. Uh, I would encourage the younger actuaries, you, you can follow me on Instagram uh, or LinkedIn. I, I'm, I'm writing about this on 61 tips uh, for young actuaries. And read and why all these qualities are important. Uh, if you're interested, uh, uh, I can switch it in Instagram and LinkedIn. Uh, adaptability uh, is an obvious one. Uh, as Charles Darwin said, it's not the strongest who will survive, it's the most adaptable. And growth mindset is a very particular attribute uh, coined by Professor Carol Dweck about uh, our approach to learning and that we must not regard ourselves as being fixed, as smart. And stupid you're not uh, you're not smart you're not stupid you you grow depending on your effort the experimentation and your belief about learning from failure and and learning from people who are successful uh, and, and that's how we grow uh, and, and these are important parts of uh, the educational framework for the next 10, 20 years I, I i say that because i do not know what will happen in the next 30 to 60 years because synchronicity happens and you know there's terminal we can have robots and all that who are more intelligent than us, but that is another theory. But my my sense is that IVOA is busy preparing 
those who join us for the next 20 to 40 years yeah, with the right mindset and also giving them the skill sets as well. Uh, because uh, it is no longer just uh, the digital revolution on which the original strategy was based, uh, COVID-19, the US, UK, the US, U China conflict, uh, uh, globalization came to a halt two years ago, uh, and the earth was crying out, uh, climate race, uh, locusts, warming, floods, polar caps, all this happened before COVID-19. Uh, uncertainty in stock market, negative interest rates, right? How, how do we deal with negative? I, I haven't got my head around negative interest rates yet. Uh, all this is happening. Uh, awesome. So so how do we uh, position ourselves? So so our strategy in terms of vision, say that we want to resurrect uh, our position and thought leadership to be relevant, influential and impactful. And most actuaries will agree that we will do that in our workplace, which means that we've got to modernize our skill sets and modernize our mindsets in wherever you work, whether it's a pension, consulting, price water, prudential, Aviva. But for you to be effective, you really got to have the right mindset so that you are able to discuss things on blockchain, uh, drones, Internet of Things, uh, not, not as an expert, but being highly aware. Uh, because most of the innovation and most of the business model disruption are occurring at the intersection. But that is at the workplace. But increasingly, uh, it is about our public interest. Uh, and if our public interest, we are risk professionals, uh, we got to make sure that whatever we recommend based on risk uh, is, uh, is is rest on sustainable uh, systems. Yeah, we cannot be effective risk professionals uh, if we are just working on our risk models. Our risk models is resting on economic systems, climate systems, or human systems, uh, which are subject to enormous shocks. So a pension. Uh, you can talk about assets and liability of a pension fund, but if that trust arrangement is sponsored by a company which itself is very weak, uh, it, it's really uh, quite meaningless to talk about projections, yeah, because you've got to look at covenant risks and so forth. So that that is uh, being much more open uh, and much more outward looking. Uh, so in terms of vision. Uh, we want to be progress uh, to be effective and uh, advanced, but also be a force for good in the wider world, yeah? uh, and also continue to make a difference uh, for uh, in the world, and 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 to be a profession of choice for those who enjoy mathematics. 